Isang magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang December 14, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today. At 11 days na lang Pasko na. Ito po si Benji Chedoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market noong 2007. At ginagawa ko po itong report araw-araw na sinimulan ko po noong August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa PLDT at Globe. Kasama po ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw. December 14, 2021, dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. So let's start with our financial headlines and this is from the business world. So telcos ramping up investments in cybersecurity. This is our main news. And then we have Rason's Prime Infra injects P2 billion or 2 billion pesos into solar projects. Then we have Fruta's sales improve in November. Shakey's bring back Project Pi with Makati Store. Government urged to focus on industries to be competitive. And MPIC Toledo is new chair of Chamber of Mines of the Philippines. So let's now go to our main news, Telcos ramping up investments in cyber security. So this is from the business world. And this is on reports that BDO had um, issues on their security you know, of their network. The PLDT Group and Globe Telecom on Monday said investments in their cybersecurity capabilities have been increasing as they continue to work to protect their customers from online threats. Our spending has already been more than $2 billion, closing to $3 billion. Angel T. Redobles, first vice president and chief information security officer of PLDT Group, EPLDT and Smart Communications Inc., said at a virtual roundtable discussion. Definitely, it's not a one time, big time thing. When I started in last quarter of 2018, the board approved a three year strategy that we started to implement in 2019, he added. PLDT's group cybersecurity implementation is based on strategy, innovation, and direction of its top management team. For every strategy, there is a corresponding budget. What is very important here is that the president and the chief executive manager in the top management team is very supportive of the budget that we have asked for and that is based on strategy and based on year-on-year -year goals and objectives that we are trying to achieve. Mr. Redoble noted in a separate virtual briefing, Globe Information Security Officer Anton Reynaldo M. Bonifacio said investments have been already almost $80 million since 2015. We continue in that space. We have been investing this much without any promise of ROI, he added. Globe and Smart have both intensified their awareness campaigns to help their subscribers protect themselves from cyber attacks. Concerns about cybersecurity and data privacy have increased due to the rise in short messages or SMS-based phishing attacks or smishing. Smishing attacks use text messages to trick mobile phone users into visiting malicious websites. PLDT and Smart recently reported that the number of blocked attempts 
made by users to websites designed to lead them to fraudulent job hiring schemes had declined to only 8,902 on December 15 from 21,112 on December 3. Meanwhile, Globe said it managed to deactivate 5,670 confirmed spam numbers and block close to 71 million spam messages this year alone. Okay, so that's our news for the day. And now, before we go to the PSE index and the P Philippine Stock Exchange, let me read some comments here from our subscribers. No? Good morning po. Pwede pong pasilip ng Tel at LGT. Thank you po in advance. Sabi ni Katz with Biggs Water. Okay, gagawin po natin yan. Sir, review po ang MPI at RLC from George Kwang. Okay. Pahelp po, ano po ang fair value ng DMC ngayon? Maganda po ba siya bilhan now? Thank you. DMC. Okay, so gagawin po natin mamaya si TEL, LPG, MPI at RLC. Pero ang question po ni Mark Joseph is DMC. Kung anong fair value po niya. For the first few days, I couldn't access the website of BDO Securities. Ano? And um, napansin ko sa BDO, sa BDO main page itself, yung, if you access your online account in BDO, hindi gumagana yung um, one-time PIN. Ang binibigay nila yung telephone PIN pinapadala dun sa registered phone number mo. But the one-time PIN doesn't work. I haven't tried today but yung sa BDO Securities, sinasabi niya, time to change your password. But I already changed my password and I couldn't still access Anyway, tingnan po natin kung meron po akong file dito ng DMC. Okay, I found a December 10 daily digest from BDO Securities. And based on this, ito po galing sa BDO Sec. Ang um, pinaka-fair value ni DMC, DMC Holdings po, no? ay um, nasa 790. 790 po siya. Mamaya tingnan po natin yung DMC, no po? Pero yung presyo po niya last Thursday was uh, 787 So, walang masyadong upside for DMC. But uh, we'll be reviewing DMC later. Neutral po yung rating ni BDO Sec dito. Okay po. So, I hope I answered your question. Mark Joseph. So, let's now go to the Philippine Stock Exchange and the Philippine Stock Exchange Index on how it performed today. Okay. The PSE Index gained 44.38 points or 0.62% up to end at 72.41.99. The candlestick formation looks like a hanging man but the general direction of our indicators is uh, sideways. On the market summary, 97 companies declined, 84 advanced, while 56 remained unchanged. The All Share Index also advanced 0.23%. The financials and holding companies were in the green, but the industrials, mining properties, and services were in the red. The financials and holding companies gained substantially 1.32% and 1.5% respectively, but though those in the red uh, lost just a fraction of a percentage or 1%, less than 1% po yung loss nila. So that somehow compensated for the gain in the all share index and the gain in the PSE index. On the market status, let's review the following. And these are the requested um, stocks from our subscribers. So we'll take a look at MPI, RLC, 
DMC, PLDT, LTG, and BDO. So let's start with Metro Pacific. Okay, Metro Pacific still moving sideways. And it has been this way for the past... Let's check. Kasi yung kanyang support nandito po sa area nito eh. So it has been that way since November 3. But here, mga bandang August ay tumataas siya pero biglang bumagsak dito nung September, October. Then it began to rise again which had its highest at uh, October 21. So nag- uh, high po siya ng uh, 418, ano? Yun po yung highest niya in the last, um, let's see, six months, I suppose. But right now, it dipped again, went high, then in general, the direction is sideways. So yung ating resistance, nandito po sa area ng to, nasa 411, 412 to 415, yung ating resistance level, the MPI, and the general direction is sideways. So yung pinakamababa po niya ay nandito po sa October 1. But uh, since November, ang movement po niya ay between 370 to 380 po yung kanyang support level. Yung resistance ay nasa 410 to 420 po. So ganun po ang galaw ni MPI but the fundamentals of MPI is good no? kung uh, nasa 6 pesos so 660 po yung kanyang fundamental value no? yung pressure po niya kung fundamentals po ay 6 pesos po yan so MPI po ang may pinakamalaking upside sa index but the, the movement here based on the technicals is talaga mabagal ang kanyang rise, ano? And then, tingnan natin si RLC. Okay, RLC, based on the 20 and 50 day average, based on the 50 and 20 day exponential moving average, also just moving sideways, although the 50 day or the 100 day uh, moving average access our support. So in general, it is bullish to sideways. Kasi nagkaroon po siya ng dip dito. No? Nagkaroon siya ng dip dito. Drawing natin. Circle. Yan. Yan po yung dip niya. Pero nandito na po siya previously. Eh. Nandiyan na siya. 1394 nga po. Pero nag-dip po siya dito. Possibly because of the Omicron variant, ano, yung fear ng market on the Omicron variant. But the general the movement is sideways and our support is at MA100, 1758 po. So when I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points but these are areas. Tapos po si DMC. Yan, moving sideways pa si DMC. Actually, yung pressure po niya ngayon ay halos ka-value na po niya, no? Yan, yun, yan na po yung kanyang actual valuation no? or within that vicinity. So, sideways po ang kanyang movement but based on our long-term indicators ay pataas po yung kanyang movement ni, ni DMC. No? Power company and power mining company po siya with uh, real, uh, investments in real estate. Med dividends, uh, this is November pa. Anyway, yun po ang aking take sa DMC. Um, yung kanyang resistance nandito po sa level na ito, 889 or 890. But uh, the support ay nasa MA100 at 739. Okay, and then PLDT or TEL. Si TEL naman, uy, patuloy siya umakyat, although red candlestick po siya. Still maintaining the closing prices above our yellow line or yellow indicator which is our 20-day exponential moving average with MA50 acting as our support. So, pakiat pa rin po siya and uh, let's check the fundamentals. Uh, 
Okay, based on the fundamentals, ang tell naman, ang kanyang fundamental price ay nasa 19.30. So, based on um, that, ay mga, may mga 10 to 11% upside po si P tell, ano? 17, 17.08, eh. mga 12% upside po siya. And yung mga indicators natin ay talagang uh, bullish trend, ano? RSI is also bullish, slightly up at 54. Yung resistance niya nandito po sa area ng to, nasa 1750. While let's take support at EMA 50, nasa 1650 po yung kanyang support level. And then after tell, LTG, Lushutan Group. Uh, sideways po ang kanyang movement, yung first glance po natin. And right now, there is the first, yung unang level of resistance nandito po sa 670. The second level is somewhere here at uh, 720 to 730. Ngayon po, yung kanyang resistance ay nasa 11. 11 to 12 po yung kanyang resistance level. So, still moving sideways. R However, RSI is bearish at 44. May dalawang successive red candlesticks po siya. But still, the movement is in a general sideways direction. Then finally, we have BDO. BDO had its problems with their IT. So, yung kanyang resistance and data push as 133.24 but in the past two days it has been moving up so yung closing price of 127 is above our 20 50 and 100 day exponential moving average so let's take m100 as our support at 120 with resistance at 133 to 134 so, yan po ang ating report sa stock market December 14, 2021 at 11 days na lang Pasko na. Ito po si Benji Chitoro nagpapaalala. Mag-ingat sa COVID, mag-ingat sa scam. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay at hanggang sa muli. Stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.